kick and snare are the fundamental elements for any beat, but the groove of the beat comes from the shakes or hi-hats. Let's start by bringing in a 707 core kit, which is one of my favorite core kits that comes with Ableton. So it's a, just a default drum rack. As you can see, there's quite a lot of drum racks to choose from. And if you click on this little triangle button, you can actually select individual samples from any of those drum racks. But we have the 707 core kit. So if you go onto any MIDI device, you can play the core kit with your fingers and at any point in this loop I can go ahead and record. It doesn't matter if it's out of time, you can shorten that loop so you can audition the loop just to see how it sounds. You can just now press Control E and that will just cut everything that's in that loop. Delete that little bit that's sticking out like that. And you can take a listen. And just before I recorded anything, I should just show you that on record quantization, I have just set it to 16th notes. So it's relatively going to be quantized just after recording it. Let's just take a quick listen. You don't really want the snare and the bass to be playing at the same time because they will just cancel each other out. So let's go back. We can actually press zero and that will hide it. So it doesn't completely remove it. So now what you can do is you can go in and look for a hi-hat loop. So I've just selected this one here. So I'm going to just drag that into the space underneath the core kit that we just had recorded. I'm going to just solo that and take a listen. And just make sure it's um, not sounding too harsh. Just reduce the volume a little bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to go in the clip envelope here like this. And we're going to just select a little bit of that envelope like that. I'm going to press Control L to loop around the section. So suddenly we now have a looping section within a sample. And let's just take the metronome off. And now let's just hear how it sounds like with the original beat recorded. So you can see straight away that um, changing the looping position really makes a difference to um, the overall sound and actually adds a bit of groove to the uh, original core kit. But you don't want it to overpower the entire thing. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.